Hello, Brian Myers with Winning Solutions, Inc. with another Microsoft Access tutorial for you. We're going to continue off of our last uh, tutorial, which was on the calendar database template, and we're going to cover the enhanced version of the calendar database template. So I'm going to go over here to www.microsoftaccessexpert.com, and here from the home page, I'm going to scroll down onto this left side and see the database templates. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Access Calendar Scheduling Database, and there's, uh, this is a standard version. You can read up on it here or watch a tutorial on the standard version. Um, but we're going to cover the enhanced version, which has a couple features that the uh, standard version doesn't have. So we're going to go here and click on the Enhanced Microsoft Access Calendar Scheduling Database. And that brings you over to the Enhanced page. And you can read up on it here, but I'm also going to cover most of this in the tutorial. So we'll just scroll down here to where we can download a, a demo version of the application. Now the difference between the demo version and the ones that you can purchase is that the demo versions do not allow you to save database, database data. So once you enter data and you close access, if you open up that access database again, you're not going to have your data saved in there. That's why you should uh, purchase the full version if you want to use this for an extended period of time. Now the first thing we've got here is a couple of options here for Access 2003, Access 2007, and Access 2010. Now you want to know which version of Access you're running because these are specifically made for those versions of Access. I'm running Access 2010, so I'm going to download that version here by right-clicking and saying Save Link As. And I like to save my stuff to the desktop just because it's easier to, to move it around and, and use it right away. So I'm going to click the desktop. I'm going to click Save. It looks like our file is downloaded here. So we can go ahead and minimize our browser. We won't need anything else from there for right now. Um, and here on my desktop, I've got the uh, access file that I downloaded. But this is actually a zip file, so we need to extract it first. And you can do that by right-clicking and say Extract All. It says it's going to create a new folder here, the Access Calendar Enhanced Demo, and it's going to show me the files after it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and click Extract. And now we actually have the file here. You can see it created a folder here on the left. So I'm going to double click on this Access Calendar uh, file and the first thing you're going to get is a Microsoft Access Security Notice. And what that is is that since you downloaded this file from the internet, um, that folder that was created isn't part of your trusted locations. It's not a virus. It's not anything bad. It's just uh, that the, the particular folder is new and, and Access doesn't have it added into the system. I'm going to show you how to add that to your trusted location so that you don't get this error in the future. Um, and we're going to start just by going ahead and clicking Open. Now once we have it open, we're going to go over here to the File menu. We're going to click on Options. Trust Center on the left side, Trust Center Settings button, Trusted Locations, and we're going to add a new location. We'll click Browse, go back to the desktop, and here's that folder that we created. Click OK, and I'm going to go ahead and include subfolders for this location. You can add a description if you want. Go ahead and click OK, OK. OK. And now just to show you that that, uh, that error message or that warning notification is gone, I'm going to go ahead and close this application and go ahead and open it up again. And you'll see now we don't get that notification. If you don't add it to the trusted uh, folder locations, then you're going to get that notice every time you open it up. So be sure to go through that menu and, and add the location. So now what I'm going to do is, uh, is give you a brief tour of this application. Um, what it is is it's a scheduling database. You can view by day, week, and month. You can change day or week or month by using these navigational items right here. You've also got a print button, and you've got this person drop down here. That's the enhanced version. That's what you get right there. You're able to... Uh, schedule more than one person. The other database does not allow you to do that. It's just meant for one person. And it's fairly easy to maintain users here. You can just click on this maintain button. And I'm going to go ahead and add a record for myself. It will be display code D. And I'm going to go ahead and click close. And now we're back over to this calendar view. 
And the first thing you may notice is when I pull down this drop down, I am not listed there. And that's because this form was open while it was updating another form. So what you may need to do is either refresh the form, which I just did there by clicking the refresh all button, or you may need to close the form and open it back up. And what this is going to do is pull new information from that, that table. And you see now I'm located in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add an event for myself here. And we'll add an event for, oh, it's roughly 2 o'clock. We'll go in here and we'll say access video. And this is at our WSI Ames location. We've also got one in uh, Fort Myers, Florida. Um, and the next thing we've got here is the start time, end time, and whether it's recurring, and this re reoccurring feature is really nice as well. Um, if you have reoccurring meetings or, or something that happens multiple times a month, you can go ahead up and set up reoccurring, and it will go ahead and, and put that into the database for you multiple times. And then for the description, I'm going to just say making a video, and then I'm going to click save and close. And you can see here at 2 p.m. it's got me uh, with the access video. We can jump over to week view. And if we scroll up here to 2 p.m., there's the access video. And if we go to month view, you can see it here on the 21st. And on any of these screens, if you want to update this information, you can just double click. It brings you back over to the day view and then double click on the item and say that I made a spelling error or something like that or wanted to change the time, I can go ahead and do that and click save and close. If I really didn't mean to do that, I can click cancel or if I want to delete this item, I can click delete. But I want to show you guys the reporting system in here, so I'm going to go ahead and click save and close. And now what you can do, uh, the other major feature here is you can click on print and it will give you that calendar view that you're on and if I go over here to the second page, it even gives you a list with the extended information here. Um, so very, very useful. So you can use this for your, your organization or your business or your projects. Um, you can add it to an existing access database as a new feature. Um, you can also uh, use it as a standalone application if you want. If you need any help uh, integrating this into your current system or expanding this uh, template into something else that includes you know, uh, additional features please let us know I'll put contact info in the description below um, feel free to uh, contact us via Facebook www.facebook.com forward slash Ames WSI or you can get us on Twitter at www.twitter.com forward slash WSI Tech you can also reach us at our Winning Solutions website, www.winningsolutionsinc.com, or the website that we uh, put all of our access goodies on in the first place, that's www.microsoftaccessexpert.com. Uh, thank you for listening. Please subscribe, give us a like, and thank you and have a great day.